Hello, my name is Luis Benitez, and I want to show you the IBM Connections plugin for Windows Explorer. So first, I want to call your attention at the IBM Connections icon directly on the desktop. If you ever want to access your Connections files, double-click on the icon, and up comes the window. Now, when I do that, notice in the window that I already have open, I have two servers configured. I have the external server and the internal server. One is outside of the firewall, another one is inside the firewall. So if you have additional servers that you want to add, the plugin supports multiple connection servers. And this is very nice because as you collaborate with multiple people, you want to have access to those files in one single place. Now, I've clicked external, and notice that I have several views. I have my files, files that have been shared with me, files that I have shared with other people, my folders, people that I follow, communities that I follow, and of course, folders and files that I have pinned for future reference. Let's take these views one by one. First, let's go into my files. When I open my files, notice that there's a lot of metadata here, and all this data is actually the social data that's stored in connections that I'm seeing directly within Windows Explorer. I can see things like, is the file public? Is it private? Is it shared with other people? Um, perhaps uh, how many comments the file has, how many likes the file has received, the number of downloads, etc. So all this data, this all this social data, it's like I said, coming from connections and displayed in a very native way within Windows Explorer. If I want to find the most popular file by downloads, I simply sort by the column and off I go. It looks like the file IBM's use of internal social media is the most popular, so let's look at that. Now notice that when I right click, I can reshare that file forward, I can upload a new version, I can see who's sharing it, the comments that have been added to the file, and I can follow it or pin it or so forth. Again, all the social actions that I can take on the file are available to me with a single click. Very straightforward. Now let's open properties here. Notice that I can see how many, how many people have downloaded the file. If we take that a step further and click details, I can see exactly who downloaded the file and which version of the file. If I want to go into the sharing details, I can see who has shared the file. For example, I shared it with Simon, Mona shared it with Bo, and Pierre shared the file with Xavier. So all this social sharing data, again, it's available to me directly from Windows Explorer. In fact, I can even see that the file has been shared with a community called the IBM Social Business Toolkit. The community is public, and all the members of the community have been given reader access to my file. I could have given them edit access. That was just the option that was selected at the time. Let's go ahead and close this. And let's pick here another file. And let's talk about some of the use cases here, right? So one of the things that happens often is that I want to be able to edit files that are in, in the cloud, right? Files that are stored in the server. So to do that, I simply double click on the file. The correct Office Productivity Suite opens, whether it's PowerPoint or Symfony, OpenOffice, whatever the case may be. I can edit the file in place. So let me uh, change the title here from my name. I'm going to put in my uh, good buddy here, Mac Kidera. And I'm going to save the file. Now, one of the cool things about this plugin is that the plugin enables round-trip editing. Now, this is very powerful because I don't have to open a browser, download the file, save it to a temporary directory, then open PowerPoint or Symfony, and then try to figure out where the file is. In fact, the file has just been uploaded, and you can see the little pop-up here telling me that it's been saved as a draft. And we'll come back to this later. Now, once the file has been saved as a draft, it's in a temporary temporary location. And so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to minimize the window, and that way we can keep working with some of the other uh, uh, files that I have. Now, I, another use case that's very important is the ability to upload new files. And so, of course, because we are Windows Explorer, all we have to do is simply drag and drop. So I'm going to open another window here, and I'm going to take this file here, and I'm going to drag and drop very straightforward and when I do that notice that the system is going to ask me what social tags do I want to add to this file so I can specify installer documentation sample etc I can even pick and choose who I want to share this file with or what communities I want to share the file with 
I can even make the file public if I wanted to. And when I share with people, I'm going to pick here Mac Gidera and Suzanne, and I, I'm, going to, I'm going to give them reader access. But I have the control to give them editor access as well. So very flexible, very straightforward, very easy. This is a UI that end users understand. If you know how to use Windows Explorer, you know how to use this plugin. Very straightforward. Now the other thing, of course, is that when I share it with other people, I may want to add an optional message, right? So hey guys, check it out and please comment on the file or send me your recommendations on how to make it better. All right, so that's it. Very straightforward. Um, just drag and drop, enter the social data, and off you go. All right, let me cancel out of this and then let me show you another uh, important use case here. So say I have a document in Word open. Again, this could be any productivity suite, OpenOffice, Microsoft Word, Symfony. And what I want to do is I want to save this file directly into connections. To do that, I want to go into my user directory. In this case, I'm logged in as the administrator. And then I'm going to go into a folder that's called LF files. So I open this folder. I'm going to go into uh, my files on greenhouse because that's my external server. And I'm going to put the file right here. So it's going to be the services proposal for Acme. I'm going to click on save and just like before the file is going to be saved as draft so no, notice a little pop-up in the bottom telling me that that's the that, that's where it is and so I'll show you how to process files in draft later now this is very important because I don't want to be saving new files and new as new versions I just want to save them as draft locally in my computer and when I'm done upload and upload them back now another important thing that we want to do here is take um, the files that I have and not only view them but of course search through the files and so one of the things that we have noticed that we're leveraging here the actual Windows Explorer search bar I'm gonna type in social and voila the four files that I want come right back it's very fast very quick nothing to uh, to wait on if I type in connections all the connections files that I have come right back in um, to me I don't have to wait it's really really fast so this is one of the things that I really like the ability to not only browse the files that I have but actually find the file that I want very very quickly so that search is really really powerful now I've gone here into the view shared with me so all these files are shared with me I can just quickly uh, find the ones that have been uh, shared with me I can go into my folders so notice that I have three folders here some folders are public some folders are perhaps uh, in this case shared with one or more people and of course I could also have private folders but they're not listed here um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the sales collateral folder and just show you what's in there and I know people love their folders and you know it's a good way to, to categorize the, the documents and so here we go we have all the presentations that we use and uh, in fact if I sort here by details you can see again all the metadata that's coming from connections whether it's uh, public or private the file number of downloads and if I want to add more columns all I do is right click select the column that I want to add like comments and recommendations perhaps hide the type column reorder the column any way I want to and that's it very straightforward very user friendly I don't have to think about it it's just the way Windows Explorer works again if you use Windows Explorer, you know how to use this plugin. Very straightforward. All right, let's go back to the main menu here. And let me show you communities. So communities, right now I'm following three different communities. To add a community, very easy. Simply right click and choose the option to add a new community. This way, you can specify which communities are very critical for you, perhaps the ones that you collaborate with in a continuous basis right so perhaps you're a member of 10 or 20 communities but only two or three are the most critical ones where you're actively sharing files with so here I'm gonna add the IBM collaboration solutions community and then I'm gonna go into the IBM connections users community I go into the files section and I can see all the files that have been uploaded there again all I have to do to edit a file is double click on a file and round trip editing is activated for me very simple very straightforward and like anything else if I want to I can also right click on the file and view all the social data that's related to that file 
Now, my favorite view is the people view because I can follow people and not only can I follow people, but I can also see their faces. Yes. So I can quickly recognize who it is that I want to uh, look uh, for files. And in this case, it's Suzanne. So I open Suzanne's file repository and it looks like she has one public presentation there about her company meeting. Perhaps you want to add my buddy Simon here. So I type in Simon and notice that the list is automatically populated. As soon as I type in a few characters, I click on add and voila, there comes his face. And so this is really cool because Windows Explorer allows you to use things like large icons. So now look how beautiful this is. You have really quick access based on their profile picture that the person has chosen to have in their profile. Again, very straightforward very user-friendly, very easy to use. Now, let's open the drafts view. So this is what I was mentioning before, as you upload new files or you work in round-trip editing mode, your files are actually stored locally, and this allows you to keep working the file, and that way you need a connection to the server. Now, when you're ready to publish your documents back into the server, all you do is right-click, select Publish, and the system is going to detect, in this case, that it's a new file. So it's going to ask me, do you want to upload this as a new file? I click yes, and in a couple of seconds, of course, depending on your connection speed, the file is now uploaded into connections. Again, very straightforward. And the cool thing, like I mentioned, is that you can work with these documents. All the drafts are saved locally on your computer, and you're not dependent on an online connection to uh, iterate and collaborate on the files that you're, that you're uh, working on. Next, we have the media gallery presentation that I edited. So again, right click, publish. Notice that this time it detected that it's a file that already existed in my, in, in my collection. And so I'm going to specify a change summary, basically what it is that I changed in the, in the file. In this case, I changed the title slide and I can choose whether or not to notify people about the update. If it's a minor update, perhaps I don't want to notify them. I click OK. Again, the files uploaded very quickly to the server, and uh, that's it. Very straightforward, very easy. So that's a demo of the IBM Connections plugin. I hope you liked it, and if you have any questions, you know how to find me.